let's put it up full mass. A woman has received from Dunkin' Donuts $3 million for hot coffee spilled. Uh, so in Atlanta, an elderly woman has reached a $3 million settlement agreement in a lawsuit against a local Dunkin' franchise after she suffered burns from a coffee spill. According to her attorney, Morgan & Morgan attorney Benjamin Welch, the woman ordered the coffee in the drive through After the employee handed her the coffee, the lid of the coffee came off, causing second and third degree burns to her thighs growing and abdomen. That's some nasty stuff. These injuries necessitated extensive skin grafts. Welch commented on the case saying, quote, America may run on Dunkin', but our client had to relearn how to walk due to the severity of her burns. Her burns were so severe that she spent weeks in the burn unit at Grady Health and has had to entirely alter the way she lives her life. Walking still causes her pain. She can't go out in the sun and she must apply creams and ointments to her burns several times a day. There's more. The victim incurred over $200,000 in medical bills and continues to struggle with day-to-day -day activities. At the time of the incident, she was 70 years old and had recently retired from a long-held position as a federal government employee. The lawsuit alleged that the accident would not have occurred if the drive through employee properly secured the lid on the coffee cup. Golden Donuts LLC, the franchisee that operates the Duncan location, agreed to a $3 million settlement to compensate the woman for her injuries and the negative impact on her life. I actually concur with this ruling or this settlement. Uh, there's a similar case. Remember, the settlement draws parallel uh, to the well-known um, Libeck and McDonald's. Remember that. This was a, a case that was international in headlines and often referred to as the hot, hot coffee lawsuit. In that case, the plaintiff suffered third-degree burns after accidentally spilling McDonald's coffee on herself. Despite misconceptions about the case, um, she was the passenger in the seat and the car was parked when the incident occurred. McDonald's had previously received numerous complaints about the temperature of their coffee and reported injury. So I did not appreciate how real this uh, saga is until law school. So in law school, we studied the case. It was one of our case assignments of the McDonald's uh, hot coffee spill. Number one, McDonald's did a great job making us believe it was a regular spill, like we've experienced probably 100 times in our life. But it wasn't. Um, the spill was extremely injurious. It literally went through her physical skin. It was exposed severely. We had to look at those photos. Those photos were part of evidence. It was one of the most gruesome pictures I've ever seen. And it was in the growing area. And this woman has significant suffering because of it. Uh, once again, an elderly woman as well. But the reason why McDonald's was held responsible is because of tort liability. They literally had complaints galore nationally about the temperature of their coffee. Many people were injured because they refused to enact a policy to make sure that the temperature of their coffee was within a particular range to not harm a human being so severely. They decided not to engage a policy, which would have been foreseeable as possible injury in the future. And so that's the reason they had an adverse ruling primarily. In this case, you have actual neglect. You have an employee of a company who's trained, especially when dealing with hot liquids, to do A, B, and C to avoid liability for the company. Well, that person did not follow. The individual received an injury, and there you have it. All right.